You know, the fans cheer when Corbin Robinson flips them off. What's that about? I expect to see a great Greco-Roman scientific matchup here. I don't. I expect to see a bloody brawl. I'd have to go with Ian Rotten and expect this to be a, a hardcore brawl. What's Mitch? Mitch takes off the jersey. He's showing that washboard. Corporal taking off the shirt. These are two silly motherfuckers. Yeah, I think those words pretty much sum it up, Ian Rotten. Yes, anybody that has the misfortune of listening to the commentary that me and Mitch provided at the beginning would agree. Well, how in the hell did He's lost here. What, 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 Oh, he just waded through, waded through it, punching all over. John Howard looks like he'd much rather be at the Voo about right now. What are you talking about? It's Corporal, he is at the Voo. Hey, let's get over John Coward, Howard and get into these guys are beating the hell out of each other. Her. Oh, light bulb tube over the head of Mitch Page. One down, 89 to go. These men wrestled weeks ago in a 232 light bulb tube matchup. Ian Rotten, you were in Baltimore, Maryland when that matchup happened. I was here to see it live, and it was the most insane thing I've ever seen in my entire life. And, oh. and this has the potential to blow that away. You want some fucking what else could the people ask for? What could they ask for? Corporal gouging Mitch Page on the top of the head with that broken light bulb tube. Two light bulb tubes down, both of them. Three light the tubes down. And there's a fourth one and on the ground. There's a fourth one on the ground. Now he's, Mitch is out into that alcohol pit. You can see it sloshing around a little. So yeah, there is still some in there. Shards of glass on Mitch's back. White powder dust in his hair. Corporal Robinson with the upper hand in the early moments of this matchup. As we've always said here in the IWA, no matter what seat you've got, you'll eventually be in the front row as these guys take it out to the floor. Mitch Page has one of the smaller light bulb tubes. There it is over Corporal's head. Oh my God. You have to swing those much harder to break than the normal standard size because they're so tough. They're so hard. That could have knocked Corporal Robinson out. Take it from me, I, the, the, the small like two glass hurts. I have no experience in this, so I couldn't <laughs> say from my vantage point, but this looks completely psychotic to me. Mitch has another light bulb tube looking to even up the uh, numbers on the light tubes used here. Kicks Corporal right, in the, right between the eyes. The fans here in total disarray of an amazement at the blue tower oh, oh, he hog tied him with the string that came down with that light bulb tube. And then kicked you him. kicked him right in the chest. The end to that 232 light tube match saw Corporal Robinson and Mean Mitch Page do a superplex off the top rope, going through a table with 25 light bulb tubes on it. Yeah, well, these light tubes, these tables got 50 That's on it. That's right, they upped the ante. These tables have 50, and neither man was able to get up for the 10 count to continue that match after that superplex. How can anybody how can either one of these men continue once they go through this 50 light bulb tube table? Just one of them, let alone two. Jim Fan, that's a hell of a question. We'll, we'll find out. What I'm really amazed about is even with all the thumbtacks in the ring, Corporal Robinson still found a thumbtack baseball bat here. And if you look at the Mitch Page's skull, he looks like a human pincushion. Taking the ball bar to Corporal Robinson's head is uh, me, Mitch Page. IWA Mid-South has got to be the first company in the world to combine all these dangerous aspects of death matches into one match. I mean, you've got thumbtacks, you've got barbed wire, you've got rubbing alcohol, insulation, light bulb tubes. And Mitch just got my stereo. I guess you can call this pinfalls count anywhere. Fans bring weapons, whatever is not nailed down. Will be used. And some things that are will be used. Go ahead and keep my stereo now, Mitch. I hear you got that one cheap anyway. Yeah, yeah, it, it fell off the truck. Fell off the truck. 
Corporal going for a light bulb tube, but Mitch Page using his mind. Is even in these hardcore matches, you have to have strategy. You have to know what you're doing. He cuts off Corporal by grabbing that foot and then crotches him on the ring post. I think, I think survival would be the only strategy here in a match like this. To survive, the brutality that is going on right here would be the only strategy that I myself would have. Five women just fainted when Corporal went groin first into that ring post, Ian Rotten. The sad thing is... is only five? The sad mm. thing is, the only choice that Mitch Page had to get back in the ring was to roll into thumbtacks. That was just to get in the ring. Mitch begging for Corporal to get in the ring. He's lost in the wind chimes. This is, I've never seen anything like this. I thought when IWA put the light bulb tubes to the ropes and made it look like a jail cell, that that was the craziest thing I'd seen, but wind chime, wind chime light bulb tubes tops it. Here at IWA, they're always out to top themselves, and they're giving it to the fans as only the IWA can. Let's give credit where credit is due for this uh, sick thing, and that me, Mitch Page, uh, came up with this. This was a Mitch Page original. He just charged through the wind chimes and met Corporal Robinson, knocking him into the barbed wire on the ropes. Okay. Now he's going to whip him through the... Corporal reverses it. Mitch goes through it. He had Corporal using his mind there, ducks underneath all the light bulb tubes. For a guy smoking a cigarette with rubbing alcohol everywhere, that was, that was brilliant. The things that these guys come up with in their head to do in matches like this, it never ceases to amaze me. Never. No, ladies and gentlemen, if your picture is going out on you, it's not a cowbell you hear. Those are the wind chime light bulb tubes clanging together as these men wade themselves through them to get from one side of the ring to the other to beat the hell out of each other with the light bulb tubes. Mitch Page ripping them down. Corporal Robinson just received a light bulb tube across his back seconds ago. Blood pouring from his forehead. This match is insanity is the only way to describe this. Corporal Robinson bleeding profusely from the head. Back beginning, back beginning to color up a little bit now too. Me, Mitch Page receives a light tube shot to the head. What can he say to it? This is the, one of the most brutal things, if not the most brutal thing I have ever seen in my life. And this match has just started. They're a still both. With the light tube there. My God. They haven't even gone in the insulation, the alcohol, or even through oh, either table. They're going at alcohol now with them cuts on his back, on their back. They might, they might as well just start screaming now like a bitch. They will be able to hear the screams all the way back in Louisville, Kentucky. The 30 miles that it is from the lovely township of Charlestown, Indiana. Okay, we need some help here. Once again, it's where we need a smart mark video monitor here so we can see through all these light bulb tubes. The fans are just totally amazed by the level of brutality that is in this match. Look at them, they are just completely... I heard a wall break. I can't see it, but I heard a wall break. I'll come at you, baby. Nah, it's only five hour drywall. You'll be all right. Oh my God, Mitch Page just tried to splash Corporal Robinson with light bulb tubes. Corporal moved, and Mitch Page smashed the light bulb tubes into himself up against the wall. And I know that wall very well, Ian Rodden. <laughs> all he say is holy fuck. I think Dave Prezak these guys are helping the hell out of each other. Mitch Page's on, chest now. Dave Prezak has a trademark on holy fuck on commentary in the IWA arena. I'm sure he'd appreciate it if you leave that to him. Yeah, he can see me. There he goes. The insulation has been on that. Oh. Bareback. He just went rolling through insulation, folks. He will be scratching and itching for days to come after that. Corporal Robinson bleeding like a stuck hog. Mitch Page possibly stuck up there in the bleachers. If you have any question about what insulation feels like, go to your basement, mm -hmm. give your water heater a big bare naked hug, yeah. roll around in the alcohol. Ladies and gentlemen, it doesn't get any harder than this. 
Perhaps going through the 50 light bulb tube table would be. Oh! He just leg dropped him onto the bench of that bleacher over there. No give in the wood. No place for his head to go. Nowhere. His head was rammed into that bleacher. Two count. Mitch kicks out. The fans are just sitting here in stunned silence. They don't know how to react to this. They have never seen anything like this in their entire life, and they don't know how to react. They're speechless. This is the closest thing to war that these people have probably ever been in. And, and how could you explain a oh, war? Yeah. Huh. Mitch Page just lost his Thanksgiving dinner from 1744 after that jump onto the middle of his back. He was sprawled over two rows of the bleachers, and Corporal Robinson just splashed him. Looked like he just like whoopee cushioned him. Both of these guys bleeding very heavily. He and Rotten, if you look around up here, it seems like just about every boy in the locker room has made their way up top because everybody wants to get a bird's eye view of this matchup because only these two men and maybe Ian Rotten when healthy can do a matchup like this. This is a first. I, I, I throw a man named Pondo in there too, but you know. This is, this, is, this is a first. Of course everybody's going to want to watch it. He doesn't like the rubbing alcohol, does he? No, he doesn't like the rubbing alcohol, though. He'd he do everything in his power to keep away from that thing. Remember, you fans from Smart Mark Video, this is only action that can be provided by the IWA. We, you will not find this anywhere else in the world. Oh, right Mitch the Page with one of them hard plastic blue chairs that do not give in any shape, fashion, except for the legs. Yes, the legs give way is one of the uh, front row oh, ones over here by the big inhaler. <laughs> oh, oh. Now nah, that's just Rich Wayne. That's not the rubbing alcohol. Dr. Pepper all over down in front of Jim Fannin. <laughs> If you notice, a lot of times that we step away from the microphone, it is from the alcohol and breathing it in. It gets to your throat, it gets into your nostrils, it's hard to breathe. Imagine what it's like to be down there at the ring with the, with the alcohol coming up to your face. After rolling around in the insulation and all this glass, thumbtacks, ladies and gentlemen, this this is just truly psychotic. I, I, I can't decide. Oh, Mitch Wage! Rotten, if I wanted to be treated like a bitch like that, I'd go to Dairy Mart. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to spill the Dr. Pepper on you. <laughs> Don't worry, you ain't got to show up to work until tomorrow. Yeah. Dairy Mitch, Mart will do without let's you. Let's go back to what Mitch Page just attempted. I hopefully, uh, you understand. The history of Lucha Libre. Yeah. Uh, hopefully, Smart Mark Video will insert replay there, because... That way it'll be easier for you not to have to hit the rewind button. Ian Rotten, I have never seen Corporal Robinson bleed like this. And Mitch Page just dumped his fist to drive it into the bloody forehead of Corporal Robinson. As I was saying, I haven't seen Corporal Robinson bleed like this since the no rope barbed wire assault match in Salem. Oh goodness, that was a lot of blood. I'm going to try to get a bird's eye view here. Setting him up, it looks like to be a power bomb. It's a power bomb into the alcohol. Corporal blocks it. Oh! Oh, that's going to burn them cuts real bad. Oh! They're getting the close up over here. It's hard work video. This is as close as you can come unless you're wrong. Oh, out of the alcohol. Shit like that. Shit like that happens make you do the pee pee dance. Oh. Oh. Mitch Page just back dropped into that pit of alcohol. And if you notice up close, that alcohol only opens the wounds. It makes you bleed even more proficiently. And Ian Rotten, as you would know firsthand, those small picks, if you land wrong, that's a dislocated shoulder or a separated shoulder just waiting to happen. Oh, yeah. It's going to be interesting to see if Mitch Page favors an arm or a leg following that backdrop, because it could have been worse than just the alcohol onto the open cuts. Mitch Page is favoring everything on his body. He's been into the thumbtacks, he's been into the glass, and now into the alcohol. Everything's got to hurt on this man. Oh, Lord. Corporal just hit him with a light bulb tube right where you could see the, the alcohol. Alcohol. Oh, yeah. alcohol. That was... Uh, it was pretty much just like a target on Mitch Page's back. Uh, 
These two men giving it their all in front of this. I don't know what the attendance is tonight. It's, no, it's nowhere near as high as it should be for a matchup of this caliber. But these men putting their heart and soul into this matchup, putting their bodies on the line. You can hear shreds of glass hitting the floor. I am completely dumbfounded by all of this. I, I don't know what to say. I've never seen brutality at this level. Right. Kickboxer, you've had many a match with Corporal Robinson. You haven't been in the ring as many times with me, Mitch Page. You and Corporal Robinson fell from the balcony at third base bar, but I'd have to say that that can't really compare to what these two men are doing to each other right now. There, there's no way that it would possibly compare. Number one, you wouldn't see me in that ring. This is the closest that I want to be. Maybe, you know, sitting at home with Smart Mark video with the popcorn, that might be as close as I want to get to the match of this type of nature. I, I'm completely stunned, and I have no idea what to say or how to even commentate a match of this nature. I didn't even want to be ringside with Bull Payne. I mean, Chris Hero didn't even want me to be ringside with Bull Payne out there. You had it like the know, first time, jackass. I know that there would be no, not enough money in the world for me to do a match like this. These two men have much more courage and guts and intestinal fortitude than I can even imagine having. I don't think it's their intestines that they have uh, fortitude with. And they've got mm. balls big enough to carry in a fucking wheelbarrow to be able to get into a match just like Mitch this. Page dropping light tubes. Both men in excruciating pain. Look at these guys. What else could they possibly do to each other that they haven't already I don't know, but Mitch Page has got something evil, evil planned for Corporal Robinson. There's now uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight light bulbs. And that's just the full ones. That's not counting the many half-broken ones that are laying there. And they're the ones that'll fuck you up. There's usually a great psychology that comes into being a pro wrestler and being in the oh, ring. Shot to the uh, ribs and kidney area. But the only psychology that I see in this is survival of the fittest. The man who can take the most pain. The man who is willing to stick it out and go that extra limit to be the winner of a match like this. Mitch Page just making glass everywhere. Everywhere you step, there's glass, there's thumbtacks. There isn't a safe place in that ring or possibly outside of the ring. Mitch Page setting up the table. This is going to be dangerous. Like none of this has been dangerous already. This is, this is the most dangerous thing I've ever seen in my life. Mitch to Page. That deer kicking the guy's ass in when animals attack, but this is this is this is beyond a uh, deer whipping a man's ass. This is. This is beyond any realm of, uh, of, of, of human. How can, how can you take another man's human body and drive him into this much of the carnage, the glass, the thumbtacks, the alcohol? Oh, my God. I don't see how one man could do it to another man unless there was truly a hatred, a, 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 a willing to put nah, you on the, the line. The thing is, between these two guys, it's, it's, it's pride. It's, it's, it's who's the baddest of the bad. Who's the... Who's Who the guy? Is the best? Who's the guy can, can sustain? As I spit it out, easy for me to say. Uh, After this match, I swear I'm going to bring a wheelbarrow into the ring and let both these guys carry their balls out in it because they have to have balls the size of fucking bowling balls. Oh no! Corporal gets off the top rope. No disrespect, Ian Rotten, but Mitch Page feels that Corporal Robinson took so much out of him in the semifinals of the King of the Death matches in the summer that that is the sole reason why he was unable to defeat you in the finals of the King of the Death matches. He wants to be king. He wants to be the best. And he feels that Corporal Robinson is the first person he has to go through and prove to that he is the best. Now remember, both of these guys have had very serious head lacerations in the past. Yeah, that's, that's in there. Another thing these guys have in common. Both of them have been hospitalized. What the hell? Surgery on their head. What is Corporal Robinson doing? Oh my God! Ric Flair takes that move every match, but never, ever, ever threw tables with about 
60 light bulb tubes breaking. Let's give the fans a chance to show their appreciation, give them a silence. We talked over the top of them, they died out. I, I don't think there's a light tube left on that table that wasn't broken. Mitch Page. 50 light bulb tubes on the table. Mitch Page had piled about 10 or 12 of them in the middle of the ring. There's only about three or four that's left. Holy Page shit. Page is still trying to get up. So is Corbin Robinson. They are still trying to go at it. What more could these guys do to each other to end this match? What else could they possibly do? People looking on in stunned silence, unable to believe. Mitch beat the count. Corporal was up on his feet, fell immediately. After the 10 count was up. After the there. 10 count was there, the match continues. But he's not moving his arm. He's a bloody mess. Porter Robinson is favoring that left arm. He's got maybe a possible serious laceration, maybe a dislocation of the shoulder. If you take a look, it might be a shoulder injury. Could be a shoulder, could be an elbow. Could just be sheer exhaustion. Get that side help! Mitch Page telling the fans, give me a fucking hand here. That's mullet security, kickboxer. You can't tell the difference between the mullets and the other mullets in this place. I just seen a mullet and considered it a fan. When you see a mullet in the IWA, the first thing that should enter your mind is security. Mullets, what are you guys talking about? Look at the carnage in the ring. I, I don't know what to say to it, Ian Rock. I have no clue what to say. These guys mentality of this level. Corporal Robinson is hurt. I, I've been in a hell of a lot of matches with with, with Steve Robinson and he is hurt. He, that is true. Looking upon both of these guys. Corporal Robinson has taken some hellacious ass whippings in the past. Some of the light bulb tubes are starting to uncome from the table. Fans are scattering. Corporal. Corporal tried to gore Mitch Page through the table. But it didn't work. He don't have enough in him. That, that, that arm, something's wrong with Corporal Robinson's arm. They've also been inhaling the fumes from this alcohol, which you can still smell very strong up here. Yeah, there's alcohol fumes. There's the fumes from the light tube dust. Light bulb tubes piling up on the ground. And Corporal tried it again and again. He could not muster up the energy and the strength to drive Mitch Page through that table. He's still favoring that arm. If you want to talk about brutality and how brutal this match is, look at just the blood on the light tubes that are hanging. Just the blood on the light tubes, let alone the blood that's pouring out of these men. They're administering a double 10 count here. Will either of these men be able to continue? Mitch Page getting to his feet. Corporal Robinson still laying there on the floor. Mitch Page is up. He's pulling down more light bulb tubes. He's stacking up light bulb tubes. This is, this is a point where the safety of the wrestlers has to be first and foremost on the mind. What is happening, ladies and gentlemen, is Corporal Robinson has given it his all. He has tried twice to put Mitch Page through this table, and he's been unsuccessful. Corporal Robinson is on his last legs, and he's in a world of hurt right now. Mitch Page has him on that table. <laughs> oh, God. I'm completely speechless. I, I am speechless. Both of these guys down. Both men are down. The crowd is clapping. 
Ian Rotten is looking over the edge with a look of concern. Both men are counted out three times. Three times they tried to go through that table and couldn't.